Woo! What is up? You lovely, lovely, beautiful people. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has been a long time since I uh, I didn't put out an EUC video. We will talk about that briefly on this little short, ah! <laughs> short ride. Let me just sort you out here. There we go. Short ride. We are, woo! We are currently on the in motion V8, the old school one. Um, let's talk, shall we? Welcome back to the video. Uh, first off, if you've been watching, if you watch any of my Brompton videos, we have a new camera. We have the GoPro Max 360 camera. Um, been using it on the Bromptons. Uh, other applications like taking it to gymnastics, trampolining, that sort of stuff. Amazing, unbelievable, absolutely loving it. I talk a bit more about the camera on one of the Bromi videos if you're interested in watching that. If not, and you're here just for the, the EUC love, let's talk. Welcome. We've got the mic set up, which I didn't do on the, on the Bromis. Um, and I've just got the V8 working again, thanks to the absolute legends over at E-Riders, e E-Riders e up in Brisbane, uh, in Australia. Um, if you're from Aussie land and you're after any sort of E-Wheel device, go check them out. I highly recommend them. Links in the description. Um, get you there quicker. Amazing. Uh, unbelievable. So, it's summer now. I can't remember the last time I put out a video. It's been some time. Uh, I went to Thailand a couple of months ago to catch up with some friends. That tour I was working on, that dinosaur show that took me all over the world. That one. I left my. Uh, whew, see how that goes. <laughs> I left my EUC, my V8, on tour, expecting to do some work on that show again, um, and then pick it up. But unfortunately, it just didn't happen. So I popped over, the tour happened to be at there in Bangkok and I grabbed the wheel and um, yeah, I had, had the wheel in Thailand for a little bit. But I wanted to get it home and I didn't want to mess around with trying to get the UPS to get it over, all that faffing about I had with the V10. Um, so I just took the battery out, left it with my mate over there at E-Riders and uh, that lives there now. So I got my mate over and E Ride is here. He hooked me up with a V8 battery, brand new, um, and I popped that in a few days ago. Uh, I haven't been out on it on a big ride like this since that. Since I popped it in, um, I've just managed to get around to sticking on the new tyre. Um, I realised that uh, I ordered a new tyre when I was out on tour, and uh, ooh, look at that! Looks blind, doesn't it? It's pretty cool to have something like that on your property. Your own little uh, natural swimming pool. Yeah, so pop the new tyre on it that I ordered ages ago, ages ago. So we're, we're pretty fresh, brand new battery, brand new tyre, and yes, we're still rolling on um, what is now, you know, it's not the VAF, but we do have the upgraded pedals. Um, I've watched a few videos on it, gets pretty good reviews, a little bit of extended range, all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's really cool that, you know, in motion, listen to, listen to their consumers and uh, put one of those out. But um, this is my wheel for, for now. Uh, my V10, my V10F, oh my goodness. We've been having some problems, flipping heck. So I won't do, you know, deep dive too much into all the nitty gritty stuff, but uh, basically it's had like a battery battery motherboard motor issue. I uh, tried to fix it with a new motor that worked briefly and then it died again. Flipping out that crosswind's a bit, a bit crazy. Uh, yeah, then I thought, oh, okay, I've broken another motor. Let's get another motor. So that's what it kept on telling me. So I got another motor and the motor worked for maybe 
and uh, I went down my driveway to shoot a video, I bought the camera, went to shoot a video, really excited to be back, back out and about on the wheel and uh, it just died on me again. So uh, pretty frustrating uh, and like I said, e-riders being so accommodating, unbelievable. Um, communicating with emotion and stuff because we're still under warranty and uh, anyway got a new motherboard uh, board sent out fitted that but it didn't solve the problem so now we're sort of I mean, I'm just kind of waiting to see what e-riders gets back from uh, in motion uh, and it looks like it's going to be a new motherboard and a motor at the same time to hopefully rectify that problem that we've been having with uh, <laughs> the wheel um, certainly on this ride, you know, this is a comfortable enough speed, it's alright, but because the wheel's a bit smaller, even though we've got the new tyre, I can definitely can't carve as much on these uh, gravelly roads. But the main thing is, we're out and about people, out and about, it's just so nice to just jump on the wheel. Um, and don't know if you noticed, on my channel I took down some videos of when I first come back home. Um, basically all those videos I started from my from my home and you can see where I live and that sort of stuff and uh, like I mean this I, somebody came to visit if you're watching this it was lovely to meet you um, but <clears throat> it did make me realize that I put my personal uh, where I actually live on the internet and anybody can just turn up like this particular person did he's very lovely um, but it just made me realize that you know maybe I shouldn't have all that that information online where people would just come out and come and visit you um, basically what happened he just decided he thought it would be okay to come and say hello which was really nice to meet another EUC rider uh, especially out here in the middle of nowhere um, but at the same time you know email or some sort of form of contact to even ask if it was okay, would be okay to come and visit um, it's certainly the mo the ideal way. I would much prefer that to happen. So, if you want to meet up, you're in the area, which I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, email me, message me, leave a comment. Uh, I'll get back to you, and I will be more than happy to hang out and go for a wheel session. So yeah, uh, started it off in a secret location, kind of not at the home so those videos unfortunately those will be staying down um, you guys will watch them anyway so um, but yeah moving on look at this I'm a little bit I don't know if you watched the, the first Brompton video I put out because uh, I come across my first brown snake uh, right near the creek which is a great great spot for for snakes to be hanging out um, but I'm certainly, I'm not got the sunnies on because I want to make sure I can see the bloody things because we're quite quiet on the wheel. Um, I've lived here for a number of years now. I have to excuse the nose, I've got some crazy hay fever going on. Sound a bit nasally. Um, but yeah, never, never come across a snake until about a week ago. So I'm certainly, certainly a little bit more on edge. Uh, still getting used to using this camera as well. I'm not sure where to hold it for the best best angle. You know, you can go right up here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not really into that tiny house, tiny house, tiny world effect, but yeah, it offers some cool different angles. I got some great feedback um, from my Brompton video where uh, I just, it was too zoomed out. You sort of lose that connection with me, who's jibber jabbering. Turns out I can still jibber jabber a little bit. <laughs> it's been a long time uh, since making these videos. I sort of uh, lost connection with the whole EUC community and lost the love a little bit because uh, I just didn't have a wheel. And you know, both of them were sort of just sat there in the house, not being used. Um, so yeah. Anyway. I wanted to share some footage of you of me riding this wheel uh, in Bangkok a few months ago. Uh, I was going over to, if you watch the videos where I picked up my V10 in Bangkok, the guy there, uh, I went to his place, E-Wheels, 
in Thailand uh, to visit him, say hello, but also he agreed, he had all the tools and stuff. Uh, so I rode that with very little protection. I survived. Do not do that. There's a big hair. Um, and yeah, check it out. There's also a little bit of footage following that of me on what is apparently the world's fastest electric scooter, which was flipping crazy. Got a bit of footage and also I tested out the uh, King Song 16X as well. So check that out, enjoy it, and I'll see you in a second. All right, hope you enjoyed that footage. I've moved literally 10 meters from the last time I spoke to you. <laughs> um, yeah, the 16X, it's uh, bigger than I thought it would be. Um, and it's not really a proper review video at all. It's just a quick, quick little blast whilst I was over there. Um, but certainly I can see the, the attraction in it. Uh, it's a pretty beasty wheel. Um, something I've looked into as well but um, you know there's so many different we I'm quite interested in seeing what emotion come out with oh my god my nose come out with uh, early next year apparently it's going to be the uh, 12 v v12 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 f 18 inch wheel beast it's gonna be awesome I'm excited about the design. I wonder if they've changed the design and some rumours about it having some form of suspension, which could be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll take a left up here. We'll keep going. I'm not really sure how long we got left on the old uh, video here, but it's just uh, yeah. So yeah, that was fun, and that uh, that scooter is is mental. It's it's so sensitive the little switch, but. Yeah, a lot of fun to try it out. It's cool to see what uh, what we have, but it's a little bit windy. Woo! Oh, it's nice. It is so flipping nice. So just over here on my right, we've got Mount Beckworth. You probably can't see it. There's a little lollipop tree up there. It's a nice little mini hike. Bit of bouldering over there. But yeah, what a lovely little place up here. So you come out here on your bike, but it's just not the same. It's not the same. Oh, it's so good to be back. It's so good to be back on the wheel. I'm not sure what these low angle shots are like. Uh, it's pretty crazy that you can get rid of the pole. I mean, you probably see it in the reflection, uh, the shadow there. But yeah, pretty, pretty darn cool. Actually, riding the V8 on these conditions compared to the V10, it's, you can certainly certainly feel the difference now. <laughs> yeah, it's so much. Uh, it's way more responsive, but you can't. I just don't feel as confident taking those big sweepy, you know, these sort of things, big S things. We've lost the bar already. Oh, my nose seems to be clearing up slightly. Oh man. Anyway, I think I think that's it. I think uh, that should do for the first video back. We don't want to uh, don't want to overdo it. If you're watching, thanks for tuning in. If you got this far, beautiful. Oh, look at that guy. And uh, I'll try to do my best and get off off the road because there's a car speeding down here do my best with editing this because you have to edit it in the GoPro studio and you have to do it all one take and then I'll import it into Final Cut with some sheepies uh, to Final Cut and then overlay the audio and stuff fun times alright guys thanks for tuning in uh, I'll see you in the next video hopefully on the V10 um, or on the V8 I want to take this to the uh, there's a pump track just up the road in the next little town. Uh, so we can get the drone to follow me. And also maybe pop this in the middle and move around it and just have have the camera follow you around because it's 360. I'm going to sneeze. Am I going to sneeze? Maybe. Anyway, guys, 
Take it easy. Live, laugh, and love. <laughs> God. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Peace.